In the previous lecture, I showed you how NPM works. We've seen together how it can be useful for our Node.js application and our JavaScript applications. Before jumping into the next topic, I would like to show you the latest version of the NPM, that is uh, number five. And version number five introduced plenty of interesting features. One being uh, a much faster installation because uh, the whole installation system changed. And uh, another very interesting feature that I mentioned in the previous lecture, and if you can't find the previous lectures, look in the description of this video and you're gonna find it. Uh, this feature is the fact that now I no longer need to install a package in production by doing npm install package name and dash dash save, but the production installation is done by default, so I can just type npm install lodash. If I want to install for development only, I can do npm install package name dash capital D. I showed you that in a previous video, as I said. Another very interesting feature is the introduction of a thing called package lock. So other than having only our package.json, we now have a file named package-lock.json. This is very, very important. And it was uh, introduced by another package manager that is called Yarn. Probably you're familiar with that. And if you're not, feel free to check it on yarnpackage.com. And uh, the concept of a lock file is the fact that given Consider that you're gonna commit this file on a repository and somebody else can take the file and run npm install. You can make sure that any dependency in your project will always be installed at a specific version. Uh, what I mean is that, for example, when I installed the Lodash, the version that was the latest at the moment was 4.17.4. And if you're familiar with semantic versioning, you know what this means. And if uh, in a month's time somebody takes my package JSON, let's go back to the package JSON. So imagine that they clone the repository where I commit this stuff. They're gonna see this symbol here. So it's uh, version 4.17.4. And this symbol here, the carrot, means that we can install any version that doesn't change the leftmost non zero number in the version. It just means that we can install all the minor versions for Lodash, but we can't install version 5. So if somebody takes this package.json in a month's time and Lodash version 4.18 is out, when they run npm install, they will have a different version to the one that they currently have. And in some cases, we want to prevent that. We want to make sure that if somebody installs my project in their local machine, they will get the same identical version of each package of uh, the project. So we are sure there are no conflicts, no uh, degradation and stuff like that. Therefore, with the package lock, bear with me on this, it's gonna be much clearer now. With a package lock file that is available since uh, npm5, remember that, and gets generated automatically, we can make sure that all the developers will have the same version. And also we can have a thing called cross package manager compatibility. If tomorrow I migrate to Yarn, for example, with this file, I can have the same identical version if I install the packages via Yarn. So far, so good. If, you, if it's not clear, leave a comment. I'll be happy to explain that better than I did. That's a new feature. Another one is the new caching system. You will notice that if you've been using uh, NPM for uh, so far, when you install NPM file, you will have to wipe your cache and use the new one. Uh, if I, if I didn't mention that in the previous lecture, probably didn't, keep in mind that NPM has a caching system that lets you install your uh, node packages, your JavaScript packages from the package manager, even when you are offline, assuming that you have already installed that and cache is enabled. So there's a new caching system that is much faster. Uh, you will notice the speed difference when you start using NPM 5. So if you visit the website that is above here, it's uh, blog.npmjs.org, or just do it faster, Google for npm5, and you're gonna see that the first result, or the second one, is going to be, the first result is going to be the npm blog. Read this article to check all the additional features. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you need, because we're jumping to a whole new topic, and I really hope that you enjoy and you will be start using npm5.